today on X Play. Guilty Gear. Pirate Carnivals. I'll be king of the pirates. And Dragon Quest Heroes. Say hello to my little friend. Ah. It's X Play. He scores! Sessler. Morgan, Morgan Webb. Prepare to be reviewed. Prepare to be reviewed. This is X-Play. They deserve each other. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. What a horrible thought. Yeah. Welcome to X-Play, bringing you horrible thoughts on a daily basis. Well, see, it's not intentional or anything, but Adam and I were psychologically scarred as children, and now our inner turmoil has a nasty habit of coming out in the darndest ways. Hey, those cattle mutilated themselves, I swear. I know they did. But on today's show, we review NHL 2K7. It's a stirring tribute to the winter sport that is the incubator for the ironic hairstyles of tomorrow. And later in the show, we remember how pretty Michelle Pfeiffer was before she made up close and personal with our review of Scarface. But we begin with a game dedicated to a musical style that speaks to the alienated, acne-riddled 15-year-old boy who lives in all of our hearts. Here's our review of Guilty Gear Judgment. Oh. Those face melting guitar riffs can only mean one thing Guilty Gear. Let's, Let's rock! rock! That's right. The fighting franchise a lot of gamers would consider the best in the biz is back. And this time, it's looking to get all up in your PSP's game hole. Unlike the previous games in the franchise, Guilty Gear Judgment is not a pure fighter. It's a side scrolling beat em up like Golden Axe or Final Fight. Oh, 1980s, where did you go? We miss you. How come you never call anymore? Is it difficult? No. Is it interesting? Of course not. Is it good as far as side-scrolling beat-em-ups go? Eh. Now, before you fly off the handle because we ream Guilty Gear, hold on. Because Guilty Gear Judgment is actually two games in one. Yes, throw down cash for Judgment and you'll get Guilty Gear Reload X2 absolutely free. The classic fighter is finally available on the PSP, and it's still awesome. But we already knew that. So let's get back to the crappy side-scroller. Ow, oh, did I ruin the surprise. As expected, the graphics have suffered on the jump to the PSP, and the perspective has been tweaked, which leads to some of the action being cut off. True gearheads will be happy to know that the heavy metal soundtrack is still around, and that means every single level sounds like this. Let's rock! Instead of this. All right, that's enough of the public domain Brian Adams sound alike. Let's rock! So, let's sum it all up. Kinda boring, not so difficult side-scrolling beat-em-up on its own, not a great game. Kinda boring, not so difficult side-scrolling beat-em-up that comes with a free version of the classic 2D fighter we all know and love, a pretty great game. Again, side-scroller, bad. Side-scroller plus fighter, good. Guilty Gear Judgment gets a four out of five. Rock will never die, but most hairband rock stars will eventually get sensible shag haircuts and tell boring stories about themselves on VH1. Or they did until VH1 became entirely populated by celeb reality. VH1, I am mad at you. You used to provide me with the very best and trashy washed up rock stars. Now you're just a wall of breaking Bonaducci. Ah, speaking of human carnage, the official sport of reconstructive dental surgery is back and it's on the Xbox 360. Here's our review of NHL 2K7. I want to see you play tight out there. Let's go. Lace up your skates, sharpen your stick, adjust your jock strap. It's hockey time. <laughs> the greatest sport you've never watched, appreciated, or even understood is back. The first set. It's a major Canadian celebration with maple syrup selling out everywhere from Montreal to Calgary to Saskatchewan. For Canadians, this is their 4th of July. He scores! 
Ah, uh, that's right. Usually during our hockey reviews, we cut to our hockey analyst, the Canadian guy. All right, who's going to step up tonight? But he was shot, or died, or quit. I was never quite clear on what happened with that character. Anyway, he's no longer here, and that's a shame, because he'd really get a kick out of NHL 2K7. And it does the trick. This would be the part where the Canadian guy would say something like, wee, 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 I like iced tea, or something that didn't really make much sense. The Canadian guy would love this game. All Canadians will love this game. It's pure hockey. It's what you'd expect from the NHL 2K series. There's not much change here between 2K7 and 2K6. On the 360, the visuals are a tinge better. The players look reasonably like the real-life counterparts. Although, since they are hockey players, who the heck would know? Oh, ho, ho, ho. See, when I say something derogatory about hockey like that, the Canadian guy would usually cut in and say something like, Wee, oui, wee, oui, wee, oui. how dare you say that to me? Uh, I miss the Canadian guy. I'd sell my soul to see the Canadian guy again. That was odd. Now, if you're an honest-to-goodness hockey fan, you'll appreciate the tough AI. They bring the pain, they bring the game. They're tough, they're men. Real, true Labatt's blue-loving hockey men. And that, as always, eats to what Americans will always love about hockey, the dancing. I could have sworn I saw the Canadian guy. That would be impossible. Rewind that footage. Huh, I must be watching too much Star Trek 2.0 or something. Even if you're not a diehard hockey fan, there's much to love about this game. There's the sudden death shootout. Still the most exciting moment in sports to some people. It's a shootout goal. These quote unquote some, of course, are Canadians. I have got to lay off the loco roco. I'm seeing things again. As we've said, and as you've seen, NHL 2K7 is all you'll need for your hockey-loving needs. The main thing wrong with this game? Even though it's the best, it's still more of the same, and we'd like to see a bit more out of the 2K7 series. I think it took the goalie by surprise. We give NHL 2K7 four Guy Lafleur's out of five. Eh, oui, oui, oui! I love the hockey! Ho, 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 ho! Oh, my God! Has the Canadian guy returned? to be continued in an upcoming X-Play Hockey Review. We make fun of Canada because we love it. You know, in the condescending way, you love a smaller, weaker allied nation right next to your big, powerful imperial nation. Now, there are many things we love about Canada. For instance, their Governor General, Mikhail Jean, is a stone fox. That is one fine piece of constitutional figurehead. Plus, we also appreciate Canada's long traditions of cleanliness, quality sketch comedy, and love of moose. But really, what we mostly love is that Her Excellency is by far the sexiest acting head of state in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, yeah. Up next, One Piece Pirates Carnival. And later, mmm, yayo on x -Prime. Are you struggling every month to pay your mortgage, your credit cards, car loans, and other bills? Do you need extra cash right now? Well, with one quick phone call to Ditech.com, we can show you how to lower your total monthly payments, consolidate debts, and refinance to a low fixed rate. We'll also guarantee you the lowest rate and fee, even if you have a credit problem. Make that call to Ditech right now. Call 1-800-71-FIXED or log on to Ditech.com. Changing this. When I want the last shot, when I know I've already made it. Whoa, that was close. I know. Guys, what are you doing? 
You're playing video games when you could have a job creating them. With the right training, you could be an animator, a game analyst, or a game programmer. Make sure video games are a part of your future. <laughs> Train online for a career in game design. Call toll-free 877-558-2953. That's 877-558-2953. Call now. Tomorrow, the console wars heat up as G4 takes you inside one of the most anticipated events in gaming history. It's the launch of the PlayStation 3. We're bringing you three hours of the most comprehensive coverage anywhere. Find out, will the PS3 graphics live up to all the hype? Is Blu-ray destined to beat out HD DVD? And can the PS3 deep six the 360? PS3 Day One. A full night of launch coverage begins tomorrow at six, only on G4. Glorious in defeat, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, I love to complain about game franchises that produce too many titles, and one anime pirate show is in the process of joining the ranks. Here's our review of One Piece Pirates Carnival. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna be king of the pirates! What, One Piece again? It seems like we just reviewed a video game based on that anime a few weeks ago. Oh, wait. That's right, we did. It was called One Piece Grand Adventure, and it was terrible. What on earth could be worse than that? One Piece Pirates Carnival! Of course. One Piece Pirates Carnival for the PS2 is a party game in the vein of Mario Party. In fact, it's almost exactly like Mario Party. In fact, it's a complete ripoff. Really lame. You know, when I think of carnivals, I think of cotton candy, funnel cakes, and a gang of drunk carnies making me dance for them behind the tilt-a-wheel when I was 13. But this game contains none of that fun. All it offers is a collection of about 40 mini games which range from passable to poor to stab me in the eye patch painful. Stop trashing me! Well, look, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Fortunately for fans of the anime, you get to commandeer all of your favorite characters, like Monkey D. Luffy. I'll be king of the pirates! Nami the Navigator. Who wants to be a poor pirate? And this raccoon thing. I'm not a raccoon, I'm a reindeer human. Whatever you say, raccoon. The biggest problem with One Piece Carnival is that the mini games just aren't fit to swab the poop deck. Too bad. A lot of them are dull variations on already popular games. Start pirate dodgeball. For example, this one here is just a ripoff of the card game Concentration. <laughs> and this remake of Where's Waldo is unimaginatively titled Where is Panda Man? Um, he's wearing pasties. This almost makes me miss the raccoon. I'm not a raccoon. I'm a reindeer human. And the mini games that aren't ripoffs are usually just uninspired button mashers. Not good. Between each challenge, you're treated to nonsensical dialogue between the oddball opponents. I'm a rubber man. There's no way I could lose to you. OK, I don't even know what that means. I'm strong and I'm rubber. Um, I'm still confused. I'll be king of the pirates. Okay, now I get it. In order to make up for these shortcomings, One Piece Pirates Carnival tries to make it up to you by throwing a bunch of lame extras your way. You can collect from a wide selection of character cards from TV show. And you can unlock replayable sound clips from the game. So, if you enjoy listening to pirates make no sense whatsoever, this is the game for you. Food! Meat! Food! Meat! So let's face it, this game is a disappointment. I mean, how can a game with pirates be bad? They're pirates, for God's sake. I don't really like pirate games. Yeah, after playing this one, neither do we. I'm Paul. Fear not, viewers, this is the end. One Piece Pirates Carnival gets two raccoons. I'm not a raccoon, I'm a reindeer human. Out of five. Okay, this robbing the rich to give to the poor mentality is exactly what's keeping the third world in a state of pseudo-socialist slavery. Yeah. And I'm tired of it, all those poor people and everything. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, it would appear that we have been joined by Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. Hola, Morgan. He knows you? Eh, uh, thwarted one of his coups back in the 90s. Mira, mira. The devil is here, right on television, reviewing games, and you can smell the sulfur in the air. Uh, actually, that's me. I had an egg salad sandwich for lunch. Uh, that's me. Guilty. I have here a book, Blade Trinity, the novelization. It is an excellent book to explain what is happening with the world, how vampires are learning to walk in the sunlight, and how America is using video game reviews to create a world of dictatorship. 
how can we be making a world of dictatorship with video game reviews? It doesn't make any sense. We get paid in drachma. We're not really a threat to you. Is that what this is really about? No, no, no. All right, no. come on, big fella. What is it? What is it? Oh. Come on. How can you say capitalist political swine woman Micaela Jean is sexist leader in Americas? Don't you know it hurts when you, when you say things like that? Oh, we're sorry. We didn't mean it that way. Come on, let me give you a hug. Oh, you go chop. <laughs> you know what? These autocratic socialist dictators are actually really cute oh, when they're hurt. No. Yeah, put some oil on it. Oh, oil will make you feel much better. <laughs> Moments away. Dragon Quest Heroes. And later on, Cocaine Tycoon on X-Play. Hey gamers, I'm Kristen Holt with another 60 seconds worth of tips, tricks, and cheats. The Warriors are coming out to play, yay, in the cult classic film remake of The Warriors for the Xbox. Aw, what's the matter? Are the vicious cops and ruthless gangs beating the snot out of you? Not to worry. Enter this code during gameplay to unlock infinite health. Now you can dish out the pain and take no damage. Your escape to Coney Island too slow? Can't make it away from the cops quick enough? Use this code to unlock the infinite sprint. Watch the Furies and the Lizzies eat your dust. Getting tired yet? <laughs> For these cheats and even more codes and tricks, visit our website at g4tv.com. I'm Kristen Holt, and you've been cheating. Unleash your inner rock star. Guitar Hero 2. Rated T for T. We'd love to show you the world's next great video game. There's only one problem. You haven't created it yet. You've played them, now you can make them with DeVry's new bachelor's degree program in game and simulation programming. It's classrooms and labs where you actually create video games. Games like you'll find when you log on to DeVryPowerUp56.com. You'll learn more about this exciting degree program and get free video game demos from Vivendi Games. It's time to take it to the next level. You can earn a four-year degree in less than three with classes that start right away. And since it's DeVry, you know you'll get this and even more of this. Call 1-866-DEVRY56 or go to DeVryPowerUp56.com for your free video game demos. But do it now, because when you're a gamer, you know what happens when you stand still. So call or log on for your free video game demos. It's right now, and it's here at DeVry. Okay, movies. Since Netflix has made it so easy for people to find the right movies, you're all going out today. Oh. Netflix users can choose from classics and new releases to TV shows and get the details on over 65,000 titles. Even search for children's movies based on age. That's you, Pinocchio. Yep. No late fees ever. So some of you may be out for quite a while. Children's movies. Don't forget to call home when you get there. Netflix. The DVDs you want from only $5.99 a month. Cue up a ringtone from Q-Tones. Text right now and get your favorite ringtone sent directly to your cell phone. Just text your choice to 40100. Text D90 for Gold Digger. Text E90 for Wait, the Whisper Song. Text M90 for Sweet Home Alabama. Or text J90 for Super Mario Brothers. Text your choice and send it to 40100. And remember to text your selection to 40100 to receive your favorite ringtone. Sometimes it's hard to be an Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb.
Welcome back to X-Play. Now, slime is a classic part of Americana. From the mucilant film that covers Kevin Federline's skin to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, here's our review. If you told me they were making a game where the hero was nothing more than a blob of goo, I'd tell you that a Rosie O'Donnell simulator was never going to fly. The truth is, a game about a blob of goo actually does exist. Luckily, in the case of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime for the DS, that blob is a lovable lump of slime named Rocket who'd never insult Barbara Walters or make Elizabeth Hasselbeck cry. You may recognize this blue blob as the weakest enemy from the old Dragon Quest games. Well, that lump has turned his life around and now resides in the sleepy little town called Boingburg, where nothing exciting ever happens. That is, until the evil plobs move in and bomb the crap out of everything. Wow, I haven't seen devastation like this since Hurricane Katrina. Hey, too soon. Sorry, I mean, I haven't seen devastation like this since I looked in the mirror right after I heard that Everwood got canceled. That's better. In addition to the destruction, the plobs have also kidnapped 100 of the town's residents, and it's up to Rocket to find them and bring them home. So, what can a legless, armless ball of slime possibly do? Plenty, thanks to a creative control scheme. Rocket can roll, jump, fire himself at his enemies, and even carry and throw objects or rescued friends. Just when it seemed like all of this was going to get boring in a hurry, we met the mighty Schleiman Tank. That's right, one of Rocket's talents is the ability to command a giant tank. And when Rocket gets his tank on, this game really shines. Whoa, I haven't seen a battle this intense since... Hey, too soon. But I didn't even finish. Too soon. The downside is that Rocket Slime is a bit on the easy side, and for especially adept players, it'll probably be a bit on the short side as well. But somehow, it's still really engaging, completely addictive, and one of the best DS games we've ever played. All in all, this is a very good game. And in a post-9-11, post-Hurricane Katrina, post-Steve Irwin's death America, isn't that what we all need most? Okay, this absolutely sucks. Who wrote this ending? I did. Well, it's awful. Too soon? Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime gets a four out of five. Does every DS game seem like an insufferably cute scenario that just manages to be fun in spite of it? It's the first wave of the Japanese invasion of the United States. They teach us to love cuteness and whimsy, and then in 20 years, they send in an army dressed as lovable cartoon kittens. Kitties! Yes, yeah, see? Moments away. Cuba's finest bring Bolivia's finest to America on X-Play. The cameras may be hidden, but the comedy is right in your face. Oh, no! The Jamie Kennedy Experiment, tonight at 6 on G4. I happen to have my own company, and I just love what I do. I respect people who try to improve the overall quality of life for each other. I believe if you have a consistent positive attitude that you influence one person, and then that person might influence another person, and it just goes on and on. I'm an entrepreneur at heart, and basically my education has helped me fill in all the missing pieces. I feel well-rounded more than I did before I started my bachelor's degree. I used to look at people with degrees and wonder, what do they know that I don't? ITT Tech helped me gain the confidence that I never quite had before. I believe that I will always be able to do whatever my heart desires. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Earn a bachelor degree in digital entertainment and game design, one of today's exciting new career fields. Call 1-800-327-1172 to apply. Multiply your possibilities. Introducing Intel Core 2 Duo, the world's best processors. Hold on, let me wipe the lens. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is Project 8. Here we go. 
Life is a blast when you know what you're doing. Best to know what you're doing for your life get ruined. Life is a thrill when your skill is developed. If you ain't got a skill, this is skateboarding. Tony Hawk's Project 8, rated T for Teen. So, where do you think this guy should be? I'd say this way. And let's make sure that sound effect we used in the last level fits in here, too. This one? Yeah. You know, I'm so glad I got into game design. It's cool to be able to create the kind of games that we play. I know what you mean. And the training at Collins College takes less time than most people might think. Can you believe we get paid to do this? For a complimentary DVD, call 888-823-0999. Operators are standing by. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. Go to G4TV.com. Always fresh, always new, always plugged in. Puro de agave. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to Act Play. You love Scarface. Every gangster rapper loves Scarface. But mostly 24-year-old bros who wish they were gangster rappers, they love Scarface. So we have a review all of you just might enjoy. Here's Scarface. Let's see, chainsaws, cockroaches, little friends. Looks like we've got ourselves a Scarface game. Yes, it's a game based on a movie, but don't cry suck just yet. And yes, it's modeled after Grand Theft Auto, but don't rashly label it a knockoff. Scarface, the world is yours, actually manages to rise above these two kisses of death. The game is essentially a sequel to the movie. It picks up kind of where the movie left off. The difference being, Tony Montana survives the assault on his mansion, and now he's got to rebuild his vast empire of coke. What's your name, man? The first order of business is, of course, the money, then the power, and then the women. And to start bringing in the green, you've got to start slinging the white. You know, the devil's dandruff, the snow, the Colombian marching powder, the booger sugar, the mummy's tears, grandma's ashes, Santa's salt, the ringtail lemur, otherwise known as the yayo. Get the yayo. To do this, you need to eliminate opposing gangs and set up fronts from which to distribute your goods. If you ice enough gangsters to bring the heat, you might be able to fast talk your way out of getting arrested, which is the way it should be if you've just butchered 20 plus people. Hey, you don't need to be like this, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Montana. Oh, if only Son of Sam had thought of this. As you take more territory, your reputation grows, as do your <clears throat> balls. Your cojones, your nuts, the bird eggs, your oval friends, the boys, the bubblegum bandits, the moose knuckle. Wait, I think that's something else. We take this town by the balls. Anyway, balls play an integral part in Scarface because after all, Tony's only got his word and his balls and he don't break them for nobody. I'm a political refugee from Cuba. Yes, you get all this in one video game, but wait, there's more. If you're still not satisfied, how about getting tips on picking up women from the Tony Montana Charm School? Let's watch the master at work. Here's the direct approach. Subtle. You look like you need to get Or what about the time-tested double entendre? Not used often, but when it works, watch out. Hey, did you come here often, baby? Or did you wait till you get home? What the f You got that from a bathroom stall? If you think it's going bad, don't be afraid to compliment her. Oh, hey, baby. You got a fine ass. Yeah, shove it, head. And if for some reason she's not taking her clothes off already, pull out the big guns, the simile. Oh, you're like a tiger, man. I like that. Full of energy and ready to attack anytime, baby. I'm yours. So act now. Score with women the Montana way. While supplies last. At its best, Scarface falls a little shy of any of the GTAs. At its worst, it's vulgar, vile, and violent, which really isn't that what Scarface is all about. We give Scarface the world is yours a three. Say hello to my little friend! Out of five. Might not you folks be interested in some X-Play replay? Guilty Gear Judgment got a 4 out of 5 because one of the games it contains is amazing. NHL 2K7 got a 4 out of 5 because it's fun to say puck. Sounds kind of like a swear word. One Piece Pirates Carnival got a 2 out of 5 because it sucks. Good reason. 
Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime got a 4 out of 5 because the DS is an unstoppable engine of joy. And Scarface got a 3 out of 5 because it's a rich part of Cuban-American history. Beautiful. These allusions to the career of Al Pacino are a gift to you from us at X-Play.